Hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog. Hopefully uh, everything goes smoothly this recording. This is like my third attempt. First one went for about seven minutes before there was a lot of noise outside. Second one went on for about five minutes before someone in my house decided to start practicing an instrument. So take three. Hopefully should uh, go fine. <laughs> Please, please let nothing interrupt this recording because there's only so many times I can try and put things into My phone! My phone is going off! See? I it just... Uh, airplane mode. I will not let anything disturb this recording. I hear it got caught in my finger. So, welcome to this week's vlog. We will start with the channel stuff first. Hopefully, because this is like my third time going through it all, I should at least be able to say things in a sensical way. But it's me, so it's a little bit unlikely. Uh, Bioshock Infinite. My voice went high pitched. Bioshock Infinite. We're on to the DLC now, and I'm so excited to sort of be back in Rapture again. When it came to bio, bio, like the, the main story of Bioshock Infinite, I felt like I got a little bit disillusioned towards the end because I wasn't really sure what was happening with the story, and I got really, really bored of the whole setting of Columbia. Like, don't get me don't get me wrong, it was a really, really beautiful setting, but I think I just got bored of it, and I think it's mostly, it was my own fault because of how long it took me to complete that game, and it's mostly because, I mean, parts-wise, it didn't take me long at all, you know, how much time I put into it, but because of, how, like, when I actually started that Let's Play, which was months ago, and because things keep getting in the way, and I don't always get the chance to record and it's really hard to try and fit recording you know around like everything and trying to find the time to record so I think I felt like really just disillusioned a little bit bored of the game towards the end but then we got like a little glimpse of Rapture and I was like okay this this is why Rapture is how I fell in love with this game that's why I fell in love with this game that entire setting and then thankfully the DLC so far looks as if it's set in Rapture. I mean, I've recorded two parts of episode one of... Uh, what's the DLC called again? Hold on, I should have it up here. Video, let's see. Yeah, I've recorded two parts of that so far and I'm really, really enjoying it. I really think they've done a good job with this sort of Rapture setting that they have here. And I really love the costume design and the makeup design of Elizabeth. Like, I've fallen so much in love. That sentence makes sense, but I've really fallen in love with how they've done Elizabeth there. Like, if I was into cos cosplay, um, I would I would probably dress up as that Elizabeth. Um, yeah, like, I just, I really, really like what they've done with her character. Uh, and I think in episode two, we take control of Elizabeth as well. Uh, just from like what I read. I really shouldn't read because it just spoils things for me, but It's a game that's been out a while. So these these things tend to happen like so certain things do get spoiled for me and I think Elizabeth's not the kind of character that would run in guns blazing. I could be wrong She could be that she could be like a hidden badass for a line or like hidden guns under like her skirt and everything like this Which I'd be pretty damn impressed and I would fall in love with her even more uh, but I think that might be a little bit more stealth based, which I'm a little bit concerned about because of how bad I am at stealth games. I am completely awful at stealth. Um, if you're like a long time viewer of my channel, it feels so weird to say that, like long time viewer of my channel. But if you've watched a couple of maybe my older videos where I've played stealth based games such as Invisible Ink, you would know stealth and I don't tend to see eye to eye. Or if you were at my Licious stream or you watched Delicious Fods, and it was like an entire stealth sequence that I think went on for an hour for me just because I was awful. I kept getting caught and I'm just, ah, I'm so bad at stealth. But the, the, and the annoying thing is I actually like stealth if it's done correctly. It's just I don't do it correctly. So then I just get mad at myself. Uh, so I'll be excited to see how that works out. Um, other channel stuff to talk about. Uh, excuse me, I need a drink. I talk so quickly and then I end up getting thirsty. I really should just like down an entire glass of water before I start filming these vlogs. Other channel stuff to talk about. Wednesdays at 9 BST, 
which is plus one UTC, whatever equivalent that is in your time zone, or is looking like my definitive streaming time. But don't hold me to it. Basically, the best way to know if I'm streaming or not is to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Miss Carsnell. And you'll know, uh, or you'll, I will tweet out that day whether I'm streaming or not. And I'll also be sure to try and keep like my title on Twitch updated to say whether I'm streaming. Yeah. But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping to stick to this schedule. <coughs> uh, personal life stuff. All right, what's been going on in my life? Do you know I said it that way? More or less just trying to keep fit and active while fighting against urges for takeaways. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, instagram.com forward slash miscarsnell. Basically, if you ever want to like follow me in any of the social media, it's under miscarsnell. And then there's miscarsnell.co.uk because I have my own website, which I actually need to update soon. I will just remember that. I'll forget that, but I'll remember at another point in the future. Now the dogs downstairs are barking. Hopefully it's not picking up in the microphone. Uh, what what was the point of my story? Yeah, like you would basically, it was just a picture of me with a McDonald's cup and I'm trying to justify the fact, and, and workout gear, trying to justify the fact that I could have my McDonald's because I was going to go work out afterwards. And I mean, for me, working out and stuff like this is more or less just because I'm, I'm I don't want to lose weight, I'm, I'm fine with my weight, but I really really enjoy just getting out there and getting active and just it really really makes me happy like even just doing things like the dance classes that I'm doing Monday that I talked about in last week I think I spoke a little bit about that yeah where I basically just do Zimba it's just it's a lot of fun and despite how awful I am I think I think the fact that I'm so awful makes me laugh even more and makes me so determined to try and do it properly oh my god getting hiccups. Everything is going wrong for me in this recording. Okay, I think I'm managing to suppress the hiccups. Okay. Um, yeah, even if I'm like completely awful, it's still, like it just makes me feel so much better. And I'll be joining the gym in the near future. I just need to like fill in forms and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite liking it. And I mean, something I haven't really spoken about on my channel, and it feels really weird to sort of casually mention it like this, but it's something I want to be a little bit more open and honest about as well. Not so much open and honest, per se, but a little bit more open about it, is I suffer from depression. And it feels so weird to just sort of casually mention it in a vlog like this, but yeah. I suffer from, depre from depression. I have suffered depression for a few years now. And I will be open enough to say this year it has been really, really bad. And it's partly why my recording schedule has been... Sorry, I have to laugh because it's the only way I can sort of like manage to get the words out. Yeah, it's sort of like the reason why my recording schedule has been erratic as it is as well, on top of like other things that have been going on. So just, just, that, that, just to actually get out for a while and focus on just t making myself feel a little bit better even if it's doing things like dancing when I'm absolutely awful at it is really is something I'm finding that is helping me cope with my depression a lot so hopefully if I join a gym it could work because yeah depression sucks just it's I mean I've spoken open and honestly about my anxiety before but I don't think I've ever really mentioned the fact I suffer depression because I don't know if I've, I just find it something that's really quite hard to talk about but yeah now I've thrown it out there but other than that I need to stop eating junk food <laughs> and focus on getting healthy so yeah that's it for this week's vlog uh Trying to think of a discussion co just blah, blah, blah. trying to think of something we can discuss in the comment section. Like I try to think of questions to ask you guys, uh, that, so we can have little comment, little discussions in the comment section. So I think did I did I speak in this record? <sighs> because I've recorded like two previous takes now, I don't remember what I've said in this one. 
I think I spoke about what I'm going to be doing in Mass Effect uh, once I finish the Bioshock Infinite DLC, which is I'll be doing a mix of Paragon and Renegade options. And yeah, when it comes to romance, I, I'm debating who I want to romance. So, you know, I might switch it up a bit. Like, my main man is Garrus, okay? He, the, I love Garrus. Knowing me, I've probably said all this already. <laughs> uh, but I'm sort of tempted to romance him, but I also want to play it sort of differently than I did in my own personal playthrough, which was more or less just like all the Paragon options. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens there. But what I was looking for was something to talk about in the comments section. So, what have you been watching lately? Uh, yeah. What have you been watching lately? I know there's been a new show that everyone's been talking about that's came out on Netflix, Daredevil, that I haven't had the time to watch because I've actually been re-watching Suits on Netflix, which I have opened in a different tab right now. Uh, what have you been watching? What do you recommend? Or have you been reading anything? Because I actually got a new book in uh, this week. Don't know where I've sat out. I still need to get back into reading Game of Thrones. But yeah, let's, let's just talk about, you know, what have you been watching? What have you been reading? Do you like it? What is your review? And that's it for this week's vlog. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you're all having an amazing day. I love y'all. Bye.